Hi everyone, this is Andrew at Plainview Farm, and this is part four in my series about constructing a storage building workshop kind of a structure here. Today, what we're going to be doing, now that we have our floor structure all put together and decked, we are going to be building trusses. Now, as I've said in previous videos, I'm not a contractor, I'm not an engineer, and um, I know there are a lot of people that are opposed to the idea of constructing your own trusses but honestly i mean people have been constructing their own trusses uh, for a long time in fact i know years ago house plans used to come with uh, spec sheets on how to construct your own trusses using plywood gussets which is what i'm going to do today and actually i'm going to be building these trusses for this uh, 12 by 20 structure with two by six lumber again using uh, plywood gussets and I'm gonna be building these trusses with two by six lumber because I'm gonna be storing stuff in the attic. So I wanna be sure that, that there's plenty of, of strength there in order to hold what I'm storing above it. These trusses are gonna be spaced uh, 24 inches on center and I'm gonna set them using a tractor, but we'll get to that later. There are sources out there, there's information out there where you can find uh, specs on how to build trusses and I would encourage everyone to do that. And if you're not happy with the idea, if you would rather do a more conventional style framing or even buy trusses, again, this is only a 12 foot wide building. So, I mean, we're not dealing with, with anything major here, but at the end of the day, um, as the Bible says in the book of Romans, you gotta be convinced in your own mind, whatever you're doing. Um, and if the Bible's not your thing, well, it was Ricky Nelson who said, you can't please everyone, so you just gotta please yourself. Anyway, let's get to building some trusses. So let me show you what I've got here. I've laid out all of my framing members and I have set blocks on the deck here in order to keep everything lined up the way it needs to be. So these are my pattern uh, boards. This is how I, I laid all of this stuff out. And, and the way that I did this actually is I measured out where I wanted things to be. I pulled a chalk line, snapped it on this deck, laid everything out according to those chalk lines, and then set my blocks in place and, and kind of got my pattern established. So I spent this morning cutting out all of my gussets and they are prepared and uh, ready to go. So now I just need to cut out my framing members based on the patterns that I have cut here. So here we go. So again, these are gonna be spaced on 24 inch centers, meaning, as I mentioned before, whenever we space out the floor joists, um, the simple math here is you have 20 feet times 12 inches gives you 240 inches divided by um, 24 inches uh, gives you 10, okay? So you add one and that means that we will need 11 uh, trusses. So we need to make 11 of these. So this piece right here is cut out of a two by four. I've got 12 foot two by fours that I'm cutting these out of. So I'm able to get three. Uh, they're four foot tall right here at this point. I'm able to get three out of each two by four. And I need a total uh, with 11 trusses of 22. So I'm gonna cut these out first, get 22 of these cut. I'm gonna start by placing a two by four up here. I need to adjust this a little bit. place my two by four up there then I'm going to lay this out lay this brace piece out I'm going to trace it on the board that I'm cutting from Flip this over. Trace it again. So with three cuts, I should have three more pieces.
So now I'm going to do the same thing that I just did with the uh, braces with these raptor legs or whatever you call them. Not sure if that's the appropriate term or not. I'm sure somebody knows. But uh, both sides are identical. They are mirror images of one another, so we just need one uh, to cut our pattern just the same as with those uh, braces. And again, uh, as we do with our floor joists, we want to make sure that the crown is up. So the crown is on the shingle side of the roof or the, uh, the finished side of the roof. So uh, we need to make sure that, that we are always going crown up. And instead of carrying these over to the miter saw, we are going to just use a circular saw. Just like the braces, we need 22 of these. So we have each rafter leg of the truss system cut. Now it is time to uh, cut all the ceiling joists. Go on the bottom down here. Pull this pattern out. And do the same thing. Crown goes up on each one of these as well. I do is I'll mark all of my uh, crowns first and then turn them all the same way. That way all I have to do is lay out my board, mark my pattern. I don't have to worry about getting things lined up beforehand. Having to flip boards over and move them around. I just orient everything the same way. It's all pointed the same direction. work our way across. So back and forth, making my marks. So I have all of my boards cut. Everything is ready to go together. So I'm gonna pull all of my patterns out of the box. I'm gonna start 
laying my plywood uh, pieces inside there, such as this one. I'm gonna lay it in there inside the block. No, I don't need those. Those, those are trash. Okay, so again, move all of these out of here. Lay my uh, plywood pieces in place. Put it on both ends. And I'll use some construction adhesive. Doesn't have to be a whole bunch, just enough. Get a good coat on there. We'll get one side, one leg, whatever you want to call it, put in place. We can make adjustments as we need to. First leg. Second leg. And then that final piece there. Tack things together. One of the things about this battery powered nail gun is that it doesn't shoot nails quite as well as, a, as an air gun. Um, sometimes you have to go back and drive them. Uh, a really good air gun won't give you those problems, but huh, it's, it's handy when you don't want to have to deal with uh, we're dragging out an air compressor. So. so we've got one side done. Now it's time to glue our plywood gussets to the other side. It's kind of cold, so this stuff kind of gums up pretty fast.
honestly, whenever it comes to living next to an airport, the airplanes are not bad at all. It's the helicopters that are driving crazy. So there we go. One tube of construction adhesive. Pretty well got the job done. Now we just shoot our nails down. And this dress will be complete. Here's a truss. It's getting cold. It's going to be dark before too long, so I want to try to get as many done tonight as I can. Um, and I may have to finish them sometime tomorrow if possible. Next time I'm going to start framing walls, so uh, be sure to be watching for that video. And as always, appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Uh, if you can see behind me, uh, my trusses are completed and they're stacked neatly ish in uh, a stack right over here and I have prepared the deck